Man, I hate it when I buy these iPhones from third parties and everything is still on. I can't even put passwords on. Look at this. Even Apple ID. I can't do anything. What am I gonna do? And what's happening in YouTube, Shiboy Tech Tricks? Back with another video, and today we're gonna show you how to unlock your phone, take out passcodes, even get rid of screen time restrictions. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. And today we're looking at the iMyPhone lock wiper. Basically, this will remove various locks from iPhone, iPad, and iPad Touch. This will unlock Apple ID, iCloud account, get rid of that passcode that's uh, blocking your phone, maybe with the broken screen or disabled or locked, something like that. Even bypass MDM and screen time restrictions. If you want to check this out, I'll link this down below. So go ahead and check them out. There are many times that I've bought phones from third party, you know, from Kijiji or Craigslist and the phone is locked and they never really got rid of their iCloud at all. So they're still logged in and then I'm not able to use the phone anymore. Here in this way, you'll be able to get rid of the passcode and get rid of their Apple ID, the old Apple ID. You can do that with this program lock wiper let's show you that right now all you need to do is download this to your computer whether it's windows or mac it'll work on either one and then go ahead and register through them and make sure to uh, grab one of their plans so that it'll work fully once you are all ready let's go ahead and do the unlock apple id so all you need to do is click the unlock apple id Plug in your iOS device via USB cable on your PC or Windows. And then you can go ahead and press start to unlock. Next up, we're going to download the latest firmware for this iPhone. We are using the iPhone 6S Plus, as you could see here. And we're going to download and verify the latest firmware 14.1. Yes, it works for iOS 14. Once the download is done, go ahead and press extract. Here, we're, it's gonna extract the firmware. Make sure that it works for your phone. Once the extracting is done, you'll be able to just press start unlock on the iMyPhone lock wiper. Now, this process might take a while. It says here that the estimated time is less than 10 minutes. So go ahead and just leave it for a bit. And um, if it has an error, it does have like here and there, like I experienced uh, a couple of errors. I just went ahead and did it again and it started to work. Once that's all done, you can go ahead and go to your iPhone now and uh, watch it uh, load and all that stuff. And we're gonna do this exact step that it says here and make sure you do it like this or else it won't work and here we go our iphone looks like it's a brand new phone again but there is an important step so make sure you just follow this along don't just go through it uh, normally because there is a way so that you can bypass that passcode and the apple id go ahead and connect to the wi-fi as you can see here um, there is parts where it says unable to activate, but we could just press again, uh, press try again, or uh, try a different Wi-Fi if that works for you. In my case, all I had to do was just hit try again, and it actually worked after that, so that's pretty cool. So here is the most crucial part. Don't punch in anything, but press unlock with passcode with a question mark. That's the one you want to press. So here we're just going to go and use device passcode. Now this method only works if you already know the passcode, but you don't know the password for the Apple ID. So here we're just going to punch in the screen on screen uh, passcode, which is three zeros or six zeros. There you go. And then we're just going to keep going with the data and the whole process of the setup. 
Here, as you can see, you can create a new passcode. That's pretty cool. And then later on, we're going to show you that you can punch in a brand new Apple ID instead of using the old one that's existing on, the, on this device. I also recommend to not transfer anything right now and just get it over with so that you'll be able to just go straight to the home screen. Later on with iTunes, you can punch in and put all your data back. So as you can see here, you can, uh, it's all bypassed. The Apple ID is all bypassed now. The old Apple ID is gone. Now you can punch in the Apple ID that you want. Pretty cool. You can even create one if you want. Here in this situation, like I said earlier, uh, this is as if you know you already know the passcode, but you have no idea what the Apple ID is. The next step is we're going to try to bypass the passcode. So here we go. So what you need to do is click the unlock sc iPhone screen passcode. Once you've done that, go ahead and press start and then plug in the device that you want via USB on your PC or Mac. Once you've done that, go ahead and press next. Here, as you could see, it's going to go through the same process of downloading the firmware and verifying it. And then we're going to do the extraction after this. Once you are ready, go ahead and hit start unlock. So as you could see, this is a different step now. This will have the confirmation of uh, the three or the six zeros right there. So go ahead and do that and hit unlock. Sometimes this won't work fully as well. So go ahead and just retry it till it starts to work. I guess for me, it's about uh, three times that it didn't work. And then I just kept trying and it finally worked the fourth time. Once it's all done, go ahead and look at your phone. And then we're going to go through the setup. Here we go. Since you haven't noticed, uh, all my files had gone away. This is as if it's a brand new phone, right? So every files that you get or you used to have will go away if you do this method. So just be aware of that. So basically it's just gonna go through the same setup. In this case, the old passcode will be gone. And then you're just gonna have to create a new passcode. So that's pretty cool. And then like earlier, after you've done all this, make sure to do not transfer anything uh, right in. And you could do that later on when you are on the home screen. Now, the next method we're going to do is for children out there who wants to bypass their parents screen time passcode so that you could keep using your phone. Right. Right. Am I right? Here we go. In this case, this is a special one. You won't even lose anything. You won't lose any of your files. You just everything will be intact. You're just going to get rid of that pass passcode. It'll be the same as well. Um, it'll reboot you on the home screen, a welcome screen again. But all, you, all your files will still be there. But the only difference that you'll do is the um, apps and data. Make sure that you don't transfer any of that, which I've been doing all along all this time. And then when the screen time screen um, shows, make sure to hit setup later in settings. So that's how you get rid of it. And that's it for the day, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to unlock your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified of the next videos to come. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below. Right now, you can get Lock Wiper for additional promotion. You can have a discount right now. As you could see, it used to be $49.95, and now you can get it for $29.95. So that's pretty cool. For a year plan, it, it's a lot cheaper, of course. And if you have a lifetime and for five iOS devices, you'll be able to just get it for $59.99. So go ahead and check that out. Make sure to hit that like button as well so you can, we can beat that YouTube algorithm. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace!